welcome to Online Advantage. I'm Lisa Farmer and I'm your business professor. Today we're going to be discussing SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis, the acronym SWOT literally stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And a SWOT analysis is a management method to aid in decision making that takes a look at internally our organization's strengths and weaknesses, as well as externally in the external environment in which we operate, we're going to be taking a look at opportunities within our industry and threats. So that's the basis for SWOT analysis. And we can take a look at it as a matrix or a grid with the strengths and weaknesses on the top, the opportunities and threats, which are external on the bottom. So what do we mean by strengths? Well, that's gonna be things that we do well as a business. Internally, what does our organization excel in or what do we do very well? Weaknesses are internally things, areas where we need to improve. Where do we have opportunities for improvement? Now let's shift gears to the external environment or industry in which we operate to take a look at some of the opportunities available to us. And when we think of opportunities, we need to make sure that we align those opportunities with our goals, our organizational goals as well. And last, we're gonna consider external threats. What obstacles are we facing as an organization? So let's take a look next at some of those potential strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that an organization might encompass. So let's first take a look at potential strengths that we might possess as an organization. Maybe it's our management. Maybe we have very tenured, skilled management. Maybe we have great advertising campaigns. It could be that we have a core competency in a certain area. That's just something that we do really well, better than our competitors. Maybe we're a market leader. So for instance, I would say that Apple is a market leader in the communications industry or the tech industry. So that's gonna be a strength that they would possess as an organization. What types of internal weaknesses might we possess? Well, maybe we don't have good direction. That's definitely a weakness. Or maybe our facilities are obsolete or out of date. Oftentimes, maybe we're operating at a very slim profit margin and that could be a weakness as well as looking at inexperienced or new management and a weak market image, all those different things could be weaknesses that we possess as an organization. Now let's shift gears to those external factors and take a look at what potential opportunities we could have. Maybe that has to do with our customer groups. Sometimes we can take the same product and market it towards a different customer group. Recently on Shark Tank, I saw a company that had developed a scoop for protein drinks to pour into your water bottle. And the scoop was, was designed as a funnel to get the powder into the water bottle, but actually they came up with a new target group of baby bottles. So that's an example of a new opportunity as far as our customer base. And maybe we could expand our product lines. Back to that Apple example, the Apple Watch that came out a few years ago is an example of a new product line for Apple. Also, maybe we have opportunities in international markets as trade barriers fall. Maybe we've got rival firms that are complacent or getting stagnant and all of those things would be potential opportunities. Lastly, we can talk about potential threats that we're facing and this could be anything from just lower cost foreign competitors in the fashion industry. U.S. fashion firms have a difficult time competing with Chinese products because the cost of labor is so much less, for example. Also, we could have substitutes that are, that are growing in the market or maybe our growth is just slowing. Also, oftentimes their increasing regulatory requirements can really be a threat for businesses as well as the economic conditions in general. Maybe we're in a recession, that kind of thing. Also, we always have to be aware of changing buyer needs and tastes. So the goal of SWOT analysis is ultimately in the management decision-making process that we develop strategies that are going to actually align those internal strengths with the external opportunities that we've identified, as well as mitigate those internal weaknesses and protect against those external threats that we identified. So I hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching and please click on the Advantage logo to subscribe to our channel.